So the question that you always want to ask yourself is, does this content need to change when the candidate clicks something? If the content is static, well, that's when you want to have static content. And that can include things like e-commerce stores, right, where you maybe don't want to do pricing tests. Obviously, when you're doing pricing tests, you need to server side render again. This could be blog pages. This could be landing pages, right? Anything where the content is static and imprint, that is when you want to render static pages. And then if you want to decide between server side and client side rendering, you need to think about the performance implications on the server. Because obviously server side rendering can be better for things like SEO and stuff like that. But there can be some drawbacks because if the server has too big of a load because there are complicated like calculations going on, then you might want to just put them into the browser of the user and then it's a lot easier on the server load and your application can scale better. And obviously it also depends on different other things like is your technology stack currently even enabled to do server side rendering. Most modern frameworks in the React ecosystem like Next.js and React Router come with all of these features out of the box. But legacy code, you know, things that were created with Create React App, there you don't have a chance but doing client-side rendering. So pick the right thing for your situation depending on these factors.